Hello, this is Seerat Ali. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a tool in the Refinitiv workspace, which you can use to identify the strengths and weaknesses of a company in the ESG profile. A question may arise in your mind, why do you need a tool? The answer to this question is in front of you in the picture displayed on your screen, which is giving a glimpse of how Refinitiv calculates the ESG score of a company. Refinitiv consider more than 630 data points of which 186 comparable measures are used in the calculation. And the ESG profile have three pillars, the environmental, social, and governance pillar. Environmental pillar has three subcategories, resource use, emissions, and innovations. Social pillar has four subcategories, the workforce, human rights, community, product responsibility, and governance pillar have three subcategories, management, shareholders, CSR strategy. With this structure of the calculation of the ESG score, you need a tool which can simplify the identification of strengths and weaknesses. And the tool which is available in Refinitiv to make things easy in that identification process is known as ESG scoring profile or ESG chart view. What it does, it helps a person to get a top-down view of ESG score components of ESG and identify where strengths and weaknesses are in the company's ESG profile. The chart also shows the composition of an ESG score, providing a breakdown of the score which helps to address queries around what matrices are driving the overall or pillar scores of a company. So let's get started to see this ESG profiling or ESG chart view tool in the Refinitiv workspace. I have logged into the workspace using my username and password. Now I'm on the home page. I want to go to the sustainable finance landing page. Just write SASF in the search bar. Click on the sustainable finance landing page. On this page, click on apps and views. In my previous videos, I have given demonstration on ESG app statement view, ESG app fact sheet view. And in this video, the focus is on the ESG app scoring profile view. So let's click on this. Now we are viewing the ESG scoring profile of the AGL Energy Limited. AGL Energy Limited is loaded because I have used it for my previous work. If you want to change the company, as I have already demonstrated it in my previous videos, in the search bar, you can search for the company of your choice. Let's say if you want to search for Coles, which is one of the ordinary share listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, just write Coles. Look at the options that suit your uh, requirement. The first option, Coles Group Limited. So you can click on that and then it will be loaded. So let's click on that and see what happens. Now we are seeing the ESG scoring profile of the Coles Group Limited. Okay, so let's go back to AGL. Write AGL, AGL Energy Limited listed on Australian Stock Exchange. The first option, I'm going to click on that. Now we are back to the ESG scoring profile of the AGL Energy Limited. So let's get started how to navigate this tool. The first thing you see here is the show full chart option. Currently what we are seeing, we are seeing the ESG score. We are seeing the three pillars, environmental, social, and governance. And we are seeing the 10 categories, three related to environment, four related to the social, and three related to the governance. We are not viewing the individual matrices. If you recall at the start of the video, I have shown that Refinitiv considers 630 plus data points of which 186 matrices are used in the calculation of ESG score. So in this chart view, we are not seeing those 186 uh, matrices. If you want to see those uh, individual matrices, so you can click on this show full chart and now you see the chart has been expanded and now the individual matrices are also uh, showing uh, at the outer circle of the chart. Let's turn this option off and move to the next, the select year. Currently we are viewing the ESG scoring profile of EGL in 2022. If you want to go to the previous year, 
you see a scroll down here click on this there are scoring profiles available for previous years from 2018 to 2022 now let's discuss how this esg chart is constructed by refinitive at the center of the chart refinitive shows the overall company esg score and this score is out of 100 the higher the score the better the relative performance of the company the outer ring of the chart represent the three pillars environment social and governance and the outer ring indicates the categories associated with each of the pillars the width of the category segment may vary from company to company depending on the industry they are in knowing which categories have the greatest weight helps understand what is driving the overall company score for example if you look at the csr strategy it has a smaller weight means it has a smaller weight management category it has a larger width the colors of the chart reflect the relative score of each category and the pillar score from the dark green being a high score between 90 and 100 and red for low scores between 0 and 10. So these are the ingredients behind the construction of this ESG chart, which can facilitate the interpretation of the ESG profile and to identify the strengths and weaknesses of the company. Under this ESG scoring profile, you also see a table which contains the pillars, environmental, social, and governance, along with the associated weights. If you want to know the description behind each of these pillars, just bring your cursor to this eye and see what is the detail behind. In the table, you also see the score for each of the pillar. And finally, you see the year on year change. So this red shows that the this pillar score has dropped from the previous year. So it has dropped from 46 to 43. Same is the case for social pillar. It has dropped from 57 to 52. Whereas the governance score, it's a dash here. It indicates that the score has remained the same. It was 87 in the previous year. This year it is 87 as well. Now let's talk about how a person can identify the strengths and weaknesses of the company in the ESG profile. If you bring your mouse on this governance and you see on the table, currently 87 is, score is highlighted. Let's move your cursor to the social. So now on the table, 52 social pillar score is highlighted. If you move your cursor to the environmental pillar, now 43 score is highlighted in the table. So as you move your cursor, the, the table will indicate that particular stuff. Okay. So now governance score is 87 uh, and it's a very dark green color because the score is out of 100 and 87 is closer to 100. And, the, and if you look at the individual categories and if you want to dig deep into that, just click on the governance. Now we can see the individual categories. The table has changed. So now we are on the ESG score governance. So this table is now showing the three subcategories of the governance with the associated weights. If you want to know what these categories mean, bring your cursor to this I symbol and see what is the description. The scores are mentioned, whether the score has changed, has gone up or gone down or remained the same has also been indicated here. It looks quite green which indicates that the AGL is doing really well on governance. And in this individual categories, the CSR strategy is one of the greenest. So it has a score of 98, whereas shareholders and management are relatively less greener with a score of 88 in the shareholders and 84 in the management. So now someone may think that CSR strategy is outstanding, all is good, all are the strengths, which may not be the case because this CSR strategy is made up of many individual matrices, individual indicators. If someone wants to see what is going well in CSR strategy and what is not going well in CSR strategy, someone can click on this. And now you see not everything is dark green. 
there are some red colors as well and here we see a red color is on unpri signatory what it is if you come to the table and bring your cursor here it says that has the company signed the unpri so if the answer is no then if the company get a score of zero if you look at the global compact signatory the score is 96 and it is up from the previous year shareholder engagement it has a score of 76 but it has dropped from the previous year if we come here it has dropped from 78 to 76 let's go to the csr sustainability report global activities it has a score of 68 and if you look at the comparison from previous year it has dropped from 71 to 68 you can now see this chart view this esg scoring profile is allowing you to dig deep from the esg to the pillars from pillar to the subcategories and from subcategories to the individual matrices if you want to go back just click on here zoom out uh, you, you you went out of the csr strategy now you want to enter into the management category click on that now you see individual matrices behind the management category and as you are moving your cursor the table is indicating where you are now you want to go out click on this enter into the shareholders now you see the individual matrices used behind the calculation of shareholder score go out now you want to go out of the governance click on this zoom out again now we are into the main page you want to go to the environmental pillar click on that we are in the environmental chart now you want to go to the emissions click on emissions now you see what's happening for agl in emissions category a lot of red colors we see in this case you go out go to the environmental innovation do more analysis and see where the company is doing well where the company is not doing well zoom out go to the resource use see the individual matrices and identify the strengths and weaknesses where the company is improving where the company is going down zoom out again zoom out if you want to go to the social pillar again click on social pillar and go to the workforce do some analysis here zoom out go to the human rights do your strength analysis here zoom out product and responsibilities and do some analysis so in this way you can clearly identify the strengths and weaknesses of a company now you may be thinking how you can use it not all investors invest in companies based on overall esg investors may invest based on different themes they may invest on governance pillar environmental pillar or social pillar but they may narrow down their screening strategy to one of the pillar environmental under that emissions and under that they may want to focus on let's say e-waste reduction if companies do well on e-waste reduction as an investor i'm going to invest in those companies so if i have that view that belief i want to dig deep from the overall esg to the environmental pillar to the emission pillar and then look at the e-waste reduction and if i want to do pair analysis i can bring more companies and do the analysis of what other companies are doing on e-waste reduction this is just one example how this esg scoring profile can be used by the investors in the classroom students can use this esg scoring profile to identify strengths and weaknesses of a company on the different issues researchers can also use this esg scoring profile to motivate their research by bringing some of the examples from various companies related to their research so with that i'm done with my demonstration of the esg scoring profile i hope you have enjoyed this demonstration and it will help you to use this ESG scoring profile in many different contexts that you're interested in. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video or future videos, please do not hesitate to comment under the video. Thank you so much for your listening. 
I'll see you next time with future videos. Till then, take care. Have a good day.